And what does that mean in terms of the way the AFL is changing? I think it's a strong message that uh, this convention is about embracing diversity. This convention is about building labor community partnerships and understanding that unions have to change in order to be an effective force within our broader society. So the fact that uh, at the very highest levels, the AFL-CIO is opening its doors to people of color, to immigrants, to women, to young workers, reflects that the labor movement is doing the right thing and is serious about embracing a change agenda. You go back to a moment in history where all those good things happened, but they didn't include everybody. And they, in particular, didn't include workers of color, domestic workers, farm workers. Um, I sometimes have the feeling that the labor movement's asking for an opportunity to have a do-over. Uh, is it? Do it right this time? Do it different with everybody involved? You raise a very important point. When modern labor law was developed in this country, when the National Labor Relations Act was passed in the 1930s, is it explicitly excluded most workers of color, domestic workers, farm workers. It even included public sector workers, government workers. And now we need to correct that wrong. We need to go back and organize workers who have been historically excluded from protection of the American labor movement. And that's what we see today. When the domestic workers take center stage, when day laborers take center stage, uh, this is a new day for the American labor movement. Mm -hmm.